Do you want to blow some minds with some slap bass lines that you can learn today? Then check this video out. Hi, I'm Luke from Become a Bassist, and in this bass lesson, you're going to learn five beginner slap bass lines guaranteed to impress. They're songs that people will recognize, and they're a lot simpler than you might think. So play these with other people, you'll look like a total badass. Welcome to Become a Bassist, where it's all about no BS bass lessons designed to get you playing better bass, having more fun, and becoming the best bassist you can be. You know, every once in a while, uh, people will come up to me when I'm playing at a gig or something, and they'll all be like, Schlappa de bass. So obviously, have to play something slap, right? <laughs> so uh, what can you play in these kinds of situations, even if you're, you're a beginner, but you still want to leave an awesome impression? Well, I've got five perfect bass lines that are 100% beginner friendly for you, uh, so you'll always have something in your arsenal. So, let's jump in. Our first bass line comes from an Aussie band. Yes, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. They were like the Eagles of Australia. They were called the Little River Band. I'm not sure uh, if you've heard of them, but definitely worth checking out if you don't know them. Super cool band and great musicians as well. The bass line we'll be looking at though comes from the song Help Is On Its Way, and it goes like this. <laughs> Yeah, super simple bass line, but super, super cool as well. We start off by popping the A on the G string, second fret, and then immediately hammering on to the B on the fourth fret. Simple enough to start with, right? Next, you just hit the low B on the A string four times. One, two, three, four. Now, they're all quarter notes, but keep them pretty short. It's not this. It's more like ba, ba, ba. Yeah? Now, if you are brand new to slapping, like day one beginner, just repeating that first bar over and over and over is going to be great practice. Yeah? But if you are playing the whole verse bass line, in the second bar, instead of popping, uh, you know, doing the popping thing on the G string, we go back to regular finger style playing and then do a little skip on the A string and then open E and then chromatically up to the F sharp, sorry, F sharp, second fret on the E string, like that. And then we get four of those F sharps, yeah, one, two, three, four, and then the little chromatic thing again, duh, duh, four more F sharps, three, four, and then we start the whole thing over again with one of those. So the whole thing sounds like this. Now, honestly, you probably could get away with playing the whole thing finger style, but you know, <laughs> um, that big pop at the start, it's just too much fun. Yeah, It's too tempting to leave it out. By the way, you can get all the tabs, notation, and drum tracks that I'm using in this video for all these bass lines for free by clicking the link in the description, filling out the form on that page. And once you do that, I'll send you everything I'm using in this video so you can use it to start you know, playing some real world slap bass lines for yourself and start blowing some of those minds. The next bass line comes from Grover Washington Jr., uh, the song Just the Two of Us, you know, the one that has Bill Withers singing on it. Now the slap part we're looking at happens during the, uh, the uh, out choruses and it sounds like this. <laughs> Cool, right? Nice little mixture of slap and finger style, but we're starting with octaves on your D flats. Fourth fret on the A string and then sixth fret on the G string. There's a solid slap and then a solid pop for each of them, and then we take the whole thing down one fret to octave C's. Yeah. Now with these ones, make sure the higher notes, the ones on the G string, make sure they're nice and short and sharp. Again, it's not this. Yeah, it's yeah. In our second bar, when we switch back to finger style, we go all the way up to this F on our A string on the 8th fret, and then come down fret by fret 
just three notes, da, 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 and then down to our low A flat, fourth fret on the E string right here. So, so far we have this, three, four, yeah. Next we get a perfect repeat of our first bar. And then in our final bar, we have octave Fs. So first fret on the E string, third fret on the D string, and we go low, high, low, high, low, high, low. And then for the last note, we have a C, third fret on the A string. And that last C, you could slap it, or I guess you could pop it as well. Either way works. You just have to make sure that you make the shift up to the D flat up here on the repeat. Up to there. So if you have the whole bass line, you get this. Just like that. The next bass line was the very first slap line I ever learned, and it's super easy. It comes from the verses of Lenny Kravitz's Fly Away. Yeah, easy enough, right? Now this one, we start to use some um, muted notes, both some you know muted notes with the slap and with the pop. Now it may seem more complicated, but it is actually easy once you know the trick. But we actually start with a, a big slap going uh, right into a slide. So we slap the G, third fret on the E string, and then slide up to this A right here. Now the original recording has like a bunch of flange and other fancy effects, uh, but the bass line still works without it. So from here, from that A, we slap a muted A. So just take your fingers off the strings in the fretting hand a little bit and slap with the plucking hand. Yeah? Just like that. You get this kind of rhythmic sound there. And then from here, you pop an A, the octave above, on your D string. So the first part sounds like this. Yeah? Now next, we have three muted notes. Two slaps on the E string, and then one pop on the D. Yeah? So slap, slap, pop. Next we have much the same idea, but on the A string. We start by slapping a B, second fret right here on the A string, and then sliding up to a C, then muted C, and then octave C. Yeah? Pretty much the same idea as before, just with different notes. We even get the same little muted figure afterwards, this little thing. Yeah? This time on the A and the G strings. Then we get the same idea again, starting at the 2nd fret on the E string, sliding up to a G. So 2nd fret F sharp, 3rd fret G, muted G, followed by a popped G. Same exact idea, right? And then we get the same muted figure from before. Just keeps popping up everywhere, right? <laughs> now finally, you do the exact same thing right here, centering around the D, so we go... Yeah, so and with the muted figure again. So C to D, muted D, high D, muted figure. So the whole thing sounds like this. The plucking hand plays the same thing over and over. And it's the fretting hand doing all the heavy lifting. Now, if you wanted to, you could leave out the muted notes. But you know, if you check out the original recording, those muted notes are definitely in there. Next, we have a slap bass classic from Sly and the Family Stone. Thank you for letting me be myself again. It goes like this. Yeah? Man, 
This is such a cool bass line from Larry Graham. He's pretty much the inventor, the godfather of slap, and this is one of his coolest lines for, for absolute sure. Now, our first three notes are right here. B, D, and E. Seventh fret on the E string, going to the fifth fret, and the seventh fret on the A string. All slapped. Next, we get these high notes. E, D, back to the E. So ninth fret to our seventh fret, back to the ninth fret. Now these have to be super, super short. Check out the original recording for just how short and how uh, Larry Graham plays it. Uh, so that's our first little phrase. Yeah, our next phrase, very, very similar, but we drop off the first note and the last note of the phrase. So we just have this. Yeah, no first note, no last note. Then our third phrase, super easy, it's identical to our first. Now, the tricky part comes at the very end of the phrase. Now, really slowly, we get this. We slap this D right here, fifth fret on the A string, slide up to the seventh fret, or our E, then slap our low E and let that ring, gonna let that ring while we play this E and D up high, nice and short. Now the tricky part is getting that E to ring nice and long, but cutting this E and this D super short. It's kind of really weird to be playing uh, long notes and short notes at the same time. It's like trying to pat your head and rub your stomach at the same time. But the whole thing though sounds like this. Such a cool bass line. Our final line is a classic beginner line, even though it's maybe a little bit busier than the ones that have come before. Now I talked to tons of bass players and heaps of them, they say this is the very first slap line they learned. And it is of course, the flea bass line from the Red Hot Chili Peppers song, Can't Stop. Check this one out. changed up the technique a little bit here uh, just you know because this is the way flea straps he slaps across the strings rather than kind of parallel to them now both work great but you know if I'm playing a flea bass line I want to play it like flea so now uh, this bass line is a ton of octaves and it starts with a big old slap E on the A string seventh fret then straight up to the seventh fret on your G string your D nice big pop there and then to the octave E popping on both of them that's not a hammer on this time slap pop pop Yep, now the next bit gets a bit more active. We have three E's in a row, but the middle one is muted. Just like that. E, muted E, E. Then you get this little tricky thing. Yeah, we get popping on the D again, and then quickly hitting a muted A string, then straight up to the high E, so a pop. So there's pop, muted A string, pop on the G string. And if you combine that from the bit before, a bit faster, yeah, if you need to at the very start, just go super slow, get it sounding good at a slow speed, then ramp the tempo up from there. Now to finish off our first bar though, we get two more muted A strings, and then one final E on uh, the A string. So the first bar super slowly is this. For our second bar, we go down to the fifth fret on the A string, a D, and then we sort of repeat the first bar a little. The D down here stays, uh, it kind of replaces the E, but the D going up to the E up here, stays the same, but again, instead of E's on the A string, we have uh, D's again. See how it's sort of similar, just that uh, E going down to D is different. Now the end of the phrase is a little bit different as well. Instead of using the E 
uh, or the D, we actually actually go down to the A on the E string on the fifth fret right there, and that sets us up for the third bar. So our our second bar sounds like this. Now things actually get a bit more straightforward here. We only use these Bs, 7th fret on the E string, 9th fret on the D, and our rhythm is this. Yeah, we're getting highs and lows. We go low, high, high, low, low, high, mute, high, mute, high, low. Yeah, so low, high, high, low, low, high, mute, high, and then two mutes before we end on that low B there. Yeah, we're getting a muted E string, muted E D string, and then that last low B at the very end. Yep, so that whole bar sounds like this. Which also sets us up for our final bar. Now the last bar is nearly exactly the same as our previous bar, except one fret up. Instead of Bs, we're getting Cs. Yeah, the only difference is the last note. Instead of being a C, which you might expect, we get a D right here. So we get this. Just like that. And that sets us up for the repeat on the E there. So the whole thing, uh, let's go a bit slower, it's going to sound like this. And if we go to the full recording speed, we'll get this. Yeah, what a cool bass line. Now this is probably the busiest of all the bass lines we've talked about so far, and maybe a little bit faster as well. So if you need a bit of extra help, if you need the tabs, the notation, and want to use the practice tracks from this lesson, I'd love to share them with you completely free. If you click right here, fill out the form on that page, and I'll send you everything from this video, including the slower speed drum tracks, so you can start mastering these bass lines and start blowing some minds.